I'm just trying to remember to slow down and allow my body what it needs to heal. Good morning. I thought I would take you guys along with me today and just show you what a typical day looks like for me right now as I am doing DNRS, which is a brain retraining program to help those with chronic illness regulate their nervous system to get them out of that constant state of fight or flight so that your body can heal. And I've been doing DNRS for I think it's nine months now and it's totally changed my life and brought me so much healing and I'm just grateful for that. I'll put the link to the DNRS website in the description. They have a lot of good information there, but basically in the mornings I like to go outside and get some morning sunlight. That helps a lot with circadian rhythm. I also like to do grounding, which is just basically putting your bare feet or your bare hands in the ground, whether that be dirt, sand, grass, moss, clay, whatever. With DNRS, there's a one hour commitment of practice per day. And with that practice, it basically involves visualizing verbally out loud past healthy and joyful memories and future joyful and healthy memories. And, and before those visualizations, there's a series of brain retraining steps that is taught with DNRS that I can't really go into detail with here. So with the practice for one hour, they recommend doing four 15 minute, I guess, practice sessions. And typically I do 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night. I've already done my 30 minutes of visualizations this morning and now I'm just outside enjoying the sunlight. A lot of the time I like to do my DNRS practice outside just because I love the feeling of being in nature. We actually just got our Christmas tree up this week and put the lights on last night. And I'm going to decorate the tree with my mom today. So I'm looking forward to that and yeah, just excited for Christmas time and things overall are going really well. Oh, yeah, there's no way you don't have that. Let's go over. Tell me when it's ready.
got back from a really nice walk. I just went around through my neighborhood probably a little over a mile and I wasn't listening to anything, I wasn't talking to anyone, I was just on a nice walk by myself and often I really like walks like that because it allows me to sort of focus on the present if that makes sense and so just appreciating the way the sun feels as it beats down on my face and the sound of the leaves as I step over them or the way that the leaves glisten and sparkle in the sunlight and how it feels to have a cool fall breeze on my face. Just things like that really help to calm the nervous system. Just observing what's around you and drawing in the five senses and slowing down. <sighs> and I'm just really grateful that I'm able to go for walks now. It's kind of become a normal for me, a new normal for me. When I really think about it, it's not normal at all. And it's something that for so long I wasn't able to do. And I love it. I'm so grateful for it. And I want to keep that gratitude and not take, I guess you could say, the little things for granted because they're big things. And yeah, lately I have been trying to remind myself that I'm not in a rush, that I'm not in a rush to heal, that I'm not in a rush to get back to doing everything with normal life, and that I have time, and that healing takes time, and you can't heal when you're in a rush. And <laughs> it's been kind of an interesting experience for me as I've healed because I think some of that grief from all the years of severe illness has sort of started to resurface and I'm, I'm starting to process that and in a way because I'm able to do things again I have so much more capacity I just want to do everything I crave ev doing everything just and I don't want to miss out on anything and it's almost like I want to make up for the time that was lost <sighs> but that's not important that's not what healing is about and even though I have such a better capacity now it doesn't mean that I should be running my body into the ground every single day pushing myself super hard I think it's good to push yourself but to stay within that window of tolerance where it's a good thing and it doesn't hinder your healing. And so that's something that I'm just working on and learning and I'm certainly not perfect at it. It's hard. Healing is hard work, it's not easy. And I guess I just wanna share that in case someone else is feeling similarly. But overall, things are going well and these are all good problems to have um, it, it's just an amazing thing to be able to start living life again and um, yeah w what a joy that is and <sighs> yeah I'm I'm grateful just and in awe of the way God designed our bodies with such an incredible innate ability to heal anyways those are just some of my Friday afternoon reflections. I'm sitting here on our back porch just watching some of the remaining leaves on the trees fall. I'm just trying to remember to slow down and allow my body what it needs to heal.
so that's what my day looked like yesterday as you guys can probably notice i'm able to do a lot more than i used to be able to do not too long ago and that's really what this year has been just a very gradual but so noticeable increase in my capacity to do things and yeah honestly i still feel i have a really long way to come before i'm totally healed and recovered and at whatever my full capacity will be but i 100 percent believe that i'm going to recover i believe i'm going to make a full recovery and healing just takes time and it takes a lot of effort and um it's not always <laughs> linear so hard days still happen but that's okay um my body has been through a lot and it's going to take a lot to recover and i'm committed to just doing and finding all of the things that are going to help me to continue to recover and continue to heal and grateful for this time of year christmas is my favorite season and i just love that we get to spend more time reflecting on jesus and how he changes our lives and this year i'm excited because i hopefully i'm going to be able to do a bit more service in our church and just yeah be able to enjoy it a bit more fully and that's such a blessing i hope that you all are doing well and having a good week know that i'm rooting for you praying for you always something that i'd really like to do is record some of my visualizations and just share what a neuroplastic visualization looks like on here without the specific dnrs steps just a guided neuroplastic visualization and just give you an idea of what that looks like for me and maybe that could spark some ideas for things that that you could do yourself so let me know if that would be helpful and other than that i will look forward to seeing you guys again soon